a clear indication that you're on board with God and God is really your father is that we look around and you're praising. This is the next level. I don't know who this is, but this is the next level of your walk with God. God is asking you to praise him. Everywhere you go, lift up that name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere you go, praise him. That lady is going to get the help she needs because we talk to God, and when we talk to God, we get an answer from God. Yes. And so, Father, we pray right now that that lady with the car gets the help she needs in Jesus' name. And I'm going to close with this, and I'm done. This is what the Bible says. I'm going to read it to you right now. This is going to bless your life, Brother Jacob. I know it. This is going to bless everybody's life in here. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 7. It says in this translation, And without question, the person who has the power to bless is always greater than the person who is blessed. Let me read that again. <laughs> I found this Bible when I was dem demolishing a house. And it's another, I've never read another translation about the King James. So I, I said, let me go to Acts 2.38 and see what it says. And this is more of one God, Acts 2.38, than the King. It goes, into, it goes into depth in my language. Let me read that again to you. And without question, the person who has the power to bless is always greater than the person who is blessed. This, our whole Christian life works off of blessing other people. Yes. Amen. God will help you. This is what God gave me today. Help someone in need, mm -hmm. yeah. and help will come in need. Thank you. Help, yes. If you, Jesus says the greatest in the kingdom is the servant. Acts 1.8, we've been given power. Acts 1 8, we have power, but the power is not for ourselves. The power of God needs to flow through Jacob to know it. Which makes you better because you're, you're the one who's able to bless her by blessing her. And Melchizedek blessed Abraham, who was already blessed. Come on. We're all, we are already blessed. That woman is already blessed. Courage. See, yes. see what you pray for? Courage. Because if you didn't have that little bit of courage, you'd turn away from giving the person hope. Right. Right. So we thank you, Brother Jacob, for your obedience to Christ. I'm excited for Pastor to come up and give us a message. Amen. I hope everybody's edified. The key to your next level is praise and go out and help somebody. Anybody that God leads you to. Because this is our walk and this is how the doors are going to open. Here is your pastor of True Christian Church. Pastor Jack Dixon. Amen. Well, we're back again. I don't know how many of you are allowed to work for us. The Lord started dealing with me about this this morning. And I was going to preach on angels. I'm going to be focused like going in the opposite direction of the natural spirits that cause you to be led astray into falseness, into heresy, into destruction. 